Hikari, I think you should find a different prank. The pumpkin thing stopped being funny years ago, and all the parents have been complaining about head trauma. Hmm, a most excellent idea, Ren. That was so refreshing! I should have done that years ago! Rule number one for surviving Zombieland? Cardio. When the virus struck, for obvious reasons, the first ones to go were the fatties. Poor fat bastard. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye you spot him. He's following you, about 30 feet back. He gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. He's gaining on you. Shia LaBeouf. You're looking for your car, but you're all turned around. He's almost upon you now, and you can see there's blood on his face. My God, there's blood everywhere. Running for your life from Shia LaBeouf. He's brandishing a knife. It's Shia LaBeouf lurking in the shadows. Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf living in the woods. Shia LaBeouf. Killing for sports, Shia LaBeouf Eating all the bodies Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf Suzaku, it's that time of year again! Yay! Happy Kwanzaa! No, you idiot! Halloween! Oh, what now? Halloween! I don't know what that is. Eh, yeah, you wouldn't. Alright, basically, Halloween is when you get dressed up and get candy from complete strangers. What are you going as? Check this sh out! <laughs> Jealous? Of what? Damn it, Suzaku! Still, I don't get it! What's the objective of Halloween? That's easy! To get the most candy! Although, I guess technically, since we both have working symbiotes, we could just force everyone to give us all their candy. GIVE ME ALL YOUR CANDY! No, Suzaku, stop! Why? What's wrong? You're breaking one of the rules of Halloween! Rules of Halloween? I thought you might not know them, so I wrote them down in list form. This way, you can have a safe and enjoyable Halloween. Uh, but before we list them, we should probably change into more kid-friendly costumes. Way ahead of you! Cowabunga! Rule number one, try not to murder someone over candy. Now, we all know candy is delicious, and worth dying for. But since everyone's giving out free candy on a day like today, people will undoubtedly try to kill you. Word. Yes, Suzaku. But think about this. Imagine if everyone killed everyone else. Do you know what that would mean? Not really. There'd be no one to enjoy that delicious candy. I'm learning so much right now. Trick or treat. Well, aren't you two adorable? Here's one for you, and one for you, and one for... What do you want? Um, trick or treat! Oh, I've got something special for you. Real special indeed. And here it is! Take it! A special treat for a special f***ing girl! Piss off! <laughs> Don't cry, Emmy. Not everyone in Gensokyo is mean like that. You kept saying that. After the Scarlets and the Puppeteer did the same thing! Ever get in trouble? Come find me. I'll take care of you. Cause you and me, we're like brothers. Only closer. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! Starring Courage the Cowardly Dog! Abandoned as a pup, he was found by Muriel, who lives in the middle of nowhere with her husband, Eustace Bay! But creepy stuff happens in nowhere. It's up to courage to save his new home. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. <laughs> rule two, be polite. Sometimes people put razors inside their candy. Remember rule two, people took the time and energy to put those razors in there. Don't be a pussy and don't eat it. I'll eat anything. That's true as hell. Rule number three, don't pick a bad costume. Oh, so you found your dad's cummerbund and now all of a sudden you think you're James Bond. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Rule four, if a stranger invites you into their house, go in. That's just simple knowledge. They're being nice, accept their hospitality. Rule number five, it's okay to revisit houses as long as you change your costume. Think about it. What happens if a house is giving out jet skis or Lamborghinis? Wouldn't you want two instead of one? Well, I'd be happy with one. You'll get none and like it! Ah, it's the Komeijis. Welcome, welcome, enjoy the party. And where's your costume? I request...
All right, it's that time again where I shall pay my respects to these poor souls and pick up some loot while treading through a bunch of poisonous flowers. Let's see. What's with all the pumpkins? Ooh, there might be something in there. What? What is... Why are there... How? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Fiddle, fiddle, fa! <laughs> I am the umbrella ghost. And I'm here to haunt you. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm a poison dart frog. Huh? <laughs> and finally, rule number I forgot what number we were on. If they don't give you candy, anything goes. Bite their kneecaps off, they'll learn. Follow these simple rules and you'll have a great Halloween. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some friends to terrorize. Kiaobunga! <laughs> what is this crap? Why am I not in it? I think I speak for all of us when I say I understand. Why you folks might hesitate to submit to our demand But here's an FYI You're all gonna die screaming All we wanna do is eat your brains We're not unreasonable I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes Open up the door We'll all come inside and eat your brains If you're expecting a jump scare here, you're sadly mistaken.
three books. Wait a minute. Hold it. Nobody said anything about three books. Like, like what am I supposed to do? Take, take one book or all books or, or what? Well. Andre, is that a book you got from Patchy? I didn't think you'd be the reading type. What you reading about, little sis? The story of our ancestry from back home? The story of the bastardization of our heritage? The story of our heritage through a teen romance drama novel? Nothing much, on chan Patchy showed me this book about these strange people of legend. This Bloody Mary lady sounds really cool. I was thinking of calling her name in a mirror to invite her to a tea party. Flandre, don't give your hopes up for a fictional character from that book of yours. People who become attached to fictional characters don't make it really far in life. And plus, I doubt you could even find a mirror in our mansion. And even if you do, you won't see anything. Fine! When Bloody Mary and I have a tea party, you're not gonna be invited! Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary! Surprise, motherfucker!